Hey class, welcome to the course outline infographic. Uh, you will be creating a unit outline infographic for the unit that you're going to be creating in this course. So this is my uh, live example, <laughs> you know, speak what I preach or however you want to say it. So there are four sections uh, and this will look familiar after you read the book, but first section is experience and these are kind of like the examples of that you're providing. There is definitely um, for this course, I have the videos in this course are basically going to be flipped learning that flip videos, the book that I'm going to have you read, which is a short read. It's inexpensive and it's available digitally. Uh, examples from YouTube. There's always good examples in YouTube. And there's also fliplearning.org, which is another great website to gain resources from that we'll be kind of reviewing. The next is the what, and I want to talk about so what at the same time. So the what is what is normally lecture in the classroom. And that's what flip learning is trying to get away from. They're trying to get that what, which is the teacher speaking and take that out of the classroom or take it out of the teacher speaking the whole time. Uh, in that case, I'm replacing that with some videos. So you're going to see videos on publication. You're going to see videos on video creation, screencasting, photo editing, graphic editing, feedback, stylus and discussions um, are all the different videos that you're going to be seeing from within this class. And that's my what for this class. The next is the so what. So this is something you create. Um, and this is going to be jam boards, vocaroo, videos, screencasts. The flipped concept of that is you normal if this was a in person class, and it's not so we have to do some wiggling around here. There's a good chance I would go to class, and I would say, Okay, everybody, here's how you use WeVideo. And I spend 15, 20 minutes talking about how to use WeVideo. And then I say, okay, now that you know how to use WeVideo, go home and create your video. Flip Flip doesn't want that to happen. What it says is, okay, you come into class. Here's a five minute video on a tutorial on WeVideo. Great. Go ahead and we'll all watch that. We'll take the first 10 minutes of class and we'll watch the videos answer any quick questions. And then we get into the project. So immediately the class time becomes the so what time. And that's the big difference with flipped learning. The what section of this becomes something the students consume either on their own time or on a small section of the class time. And the so what becomes the primary focus of the class time that gets used. So this is where in this class, I have Edpuzzle, Bitmoji, Jamboard, WeVideo, all those types of things. Now, the now what is the culmination of all of that. It's the application of what hap of those tools that they got built. So for this class, it's going to be the full unit that you're going to be showing um, your students. It's Part of that is the infographic that we're going to be creating, the classroom structure model that you're going to be have how you're going to be able to handle students who don't necessarily watch the videos at home. How does that work? And how do you're going to structure your class to be able to make flipped learning work? Um, last is a feedback strategy, which I think is very important. How are you going to be providing feedback? Some of that's just live. That's perfectly fine. So that's my course outline. And I will end most of my videos with uh, thank you and never stop learning.